Plastic Medicine, a collaboration with Soldier Blue and Catherine Wyatt. The hour had struck, and the red earthen ones whom had been invited, prayers were spoken, plumes of smoke ascended, and the songs sung in earnest. The Wikyup entered, and all seated. The dark enfolded all, and the heat rose. Water splashed so slowly, and the steams of dreams, purification, and beliefs arisen. And as more songs were gathered into the hearts of the faithful, gathered to be sent beyond the stars, a freshet of air was felt, the stinging cool that was not to be until the door was properly opened, and all had been done. A shadow falls, and the essence, novelty, and trivia brought with it an unwelcome smell, a scent devoid of the sacred. And we wondered whom had interrupted this sacred moment of our prayer. The skin scent was lacquered with the intents of outsiders, and it was unpleasant. Still, the spirit ones had come and the value of our faith could not be taken lightly even for such an interruption, a boil's worth of disruption. Coyote, the trickster, had found us. And we prayed and sang and closed our minds to that which wasn't part of our earthen touching of grace with those who love us yet. And we see as we return to that place of sky and grass beneath us and the stars upon our breath, the moldering, watering eyes of a willow wand pale, the sanguine smirk of his grin still dripping and hollow from his feeding of desire, and we knew no good would come of this. Yea, we knew the trickster in this his present disguise, feeding a desire to move into whole. The whole picture moves to distortion. First came the word, the vibration. Then came those who brought it to the West. Yogananda did his best stories of the cave yogis, cities that were with greed, capturing the hearts and camouflage, so watered down it no longer resembled the 10,000 years of teaching that preceded Barnes and the Nobles, distillation of the word, practice. And in the next turning of the sun, we heard of this man, plastic in his approach, claiming we had given him a name. Instructed him in the sacred, and that you too, for the mere sum of thirteen hundred dollars, can also have an authentic ending ceremony. Yeah, it was authentic, all right. The plastic medicine of an artificial shaman. By the way, shaman is African, not our tradition. And his jingle eagle name was merely the sound of a rusted tin can hammered upon by a thief. You come to us as Red Earth and ask us for wisdom after the holocaustal slaughter of our ancestors, and you come to us as if we should be pleased to see you. You mix and meld what doesn't belong to you, and of which you have no understanding, from the east and the west, and places we have no knowledge of. And then, in the mid of night, when a spirit one is angrily banging on your head, you want us to fix it. How asinine is that? Who told you you could hold Sweat Lodge? Who gave you the right to intrude upon our ways with the sacredness of Grandfather Peyote? I'll bet you didn't even know that part of the cactus button is poison. And whoever said 
Sixty-two was a good number of people in a sweat lodge. Never mind all the rest of the ways of even that ceremony you disregard. You killed people. Does that justify what you did in the vernacular of the day? Is you crazy? So dawned the new age as the syncretization of traditions crossed and the crossfire intermingling of methods began. Rajneesh appeared on the scene as Tantra became the new age craze. He is crazy. There was nothing new to be learned. It was the ancient steps slowly taught through oral tradition that was lost as Barnes and the nobles churned out misguided information. First comes the breath, then the sound, then the vibration, and the practice guided carefully. This was skipped. Sex cells and fools fool themselves. Tantra was never meant for the West. Years of preparation under a teacher's guidance. Many in India are forbidden to eat meat. Fear the outgrowth of prohibition. The teacher's job is to guide. Sex used for entertainment in the West is barely spoken of in India. Years of teaching, then private ceremony. Husbands and wives taste a touch of meat in couple. Barnes and the nobles selling shiny bright books with half teachings. Tantra confused with Kama Sutra, a book telling husbands how to choose a wife in a culture where arranged marriage is the status quo. You merged along with indigenous ceremony and anything else that might be thrown into the spiritual soup grown murky. Now the new age blended and crossed so much were the preparations lost when the physical injuries began to occur as practice became self-searching. The roots were lost. The cost misguided spiritual malpractice perpetuated by teachers without the information. Yes, as if the West needed more sex, a complete lack of understanding. Practice. Start with the breath. Step by step. Nothing new in the New Age, just the deconstruction of tradition meant to guide. What the ancients knew. Chakras and chakras, prana must be laid carefully up the spine over time, not found in a book where a quick look ignores nadis, small meeting ways, the flow broken, the soul lost in confusion. There are many paths to get to the top of the mountain. Pick one and follow it. As one, the indigenous ways of others are not to be mixed because there are reasons for it all as we move in different times and the ages beyond, move beyond tradition. We must remember to honor our loved ones in the ways of our peoples. We, mistaken in identity for Indians, and those who are of the East who are Indians, red earth names are the reasonings of our creation stories, not yours even as our ceremonies are geared to the communities we live in and thus from there an outpouring across the earth not to be bought the sacred cannot be sold with that intention what is sold morphs becomes bangle and loses what the greed mongers sought to buy red earth our sacred is our own as we and our relations walk neath the lean wings of ravens and old crows, as we walk between the stiles or sacred stones, walking our path upon the ghost road.